Beloved, having heard the word of God read and proclaimed, let us now join our voices in declaring what it is that we believe through the words of the Apostles' Creed. Friends, what do we believe? Please rise. Friends, what do we believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and of the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you that you make all things new. We pray that your spirit will guide us each step of the new year. We ask that you guide our decisions and touch our hearts so we deeply desire you above all. Grant us your wisdom as we look to the coming year. Open wide the doors we are to go through this coming year and close tight the situations you call us to avoid. Help us to recognize the lessons of the past year and loosen our grips on the situations we want to hold on to that draw us away from you. As we hold the blessing of Jesus' birth in our hearts, may we put away the holly and the decorations and turn our energies towards the joy of serving you with our whole being. We pray this day for those who are shrouded by grief and sorrow this holiday season. We pray for those who face their first Christmas without a loved one. We pray, too, for those who have grieved an empty space at the table for many years. May they be mindful of your presence with them. And may we, your church, surround them with loving kindness and a helping hand. We remember this day those who face other losses and challenges as well. We pray for the people that have experienced broken relationships and the families impacted by divorce. May they never experience any doubt of your love for each of them. We are mindful of those who have experienced the challenges of difficult diagnoses or surgeries and a long treatment and recovery ahead. We pray as well for those who are in the final chapters of their lives and are preparing to say goodbye to loved ones before meeting you face to face. We are thoughtful of those who are facing emotional hardships and battle each day with the challenges of addiction. May we be a place where they find encouragement and hope for their difficult days. As we offer hope and strength to those in need, may we also be a church on the move May we grow in our spiritual and relational lives and bring light to our neighborhood, city, country, and world that needs your touch. May we, through our preaching, teaching, and pastoral care, offer good news to one another and to those to whom you call us to minister. In all these things, may we grow to be more Christ-like, May we recognize the person in need of your caring touch. Help us to build up the dispirited, lonely, depressed, and anxious people in our midst as we rejoice and celebrate with those who know your peace. 
Help us to grow, your way, grow in your ways as we teach people to pray as Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.